Hello, my dear friends. Uh, now I'm going to speak on a very vibrant topic of economics that is inflation. Uh, dear friends, uh, the world map has more than 200 countries. Uh, no country is left out of inflation because it is a very common phenomenon a country is facing today. The question arises in our mind is, then what is inflation? People are talking uh, very often about this uh, variable of economics. In a very general sense, inflation is nothing but uh, a trend or a phenomenon wherein the prices of commodities as well as services rises very in a very rapid manner. Uh, always this rising trend of price is better for any kind of economy, but when it goes beyond the limit, then only it would become very harm or it may lead to very collapse for the economy. Uh, it is a very controversial terminology. If you look at the slide, what I am showing now, you see there, inflation is a highly controversial term which has undergone modification since it was first defined by the neoclassical economists. They meant by it a galloping rise in prices as a result of the excessive increase in the quantity of money. It means that the neoclassical school of economists, they uh, had of the opinion that this inflation takes place with the excessive supply of money. See, according to them, when excessive supply of money takes place in the economy, uh, it rises the money in circulation. It means the pocket of uh, consumers becomes f full and they will start to buy more and more of commodities. As a result, the demand for commodity in economy will rise. As demand rises in the economy, supply of commodity will not reach at that particular point then demand goes up and supply will stay there itself then prices of commodity gradually rises this is what the opinion of neoclassical school of economics uh, if you look at the another statement given by milton friedman a very monetary economist inflation is always and everywhere a monetary phenomenon and can be produced only by a more rapid increase in the quantity of money than output he had a uh, he had also the same opinion here when the supply of money becomes more inflation takes place um, on the basis of this rate of inflation my dear friends uh, we can classify inflation into four different categories they are creeping inflation walking inflation running inflation hyperinflation then what is creeping inflation creeping inflation is nothing but when inflation takes place in the economy at a very slower rate, like a movement of snail or a creeper, snail always moves at a very slower rate. So in the economy, the rise in price takes place in a slower rate, then it is called as creeping inflation. Uh, in terms of rate, suppose annually in the economy, inflation takes place less than 3%, then this kind of inflation is called as creeping inflation. It is always uh, very favorable for the economy because uh, there must be inflation in the economy to survive because unless having the inflation, no economy will survive. It is a kind of mild, mild inflation. Mild inflation is always necessary for any economy to get its boost towards different variables. Uh, when this mild uh, turns to wild, then only it becomes very harm for the economy, then it may lead to collapse, any kind of economy. And the another form is walking or trotting inflation. Walking or trotting inflation is nothing but, it is uh, the next stage of creeping inflation. Here, inflation takes place from 3% to 6% uh, and it should be less than 10% and it, it means that this kind of inflation may go up to 9% and stays there itself. It is called as uh, walking inflation. 
when economy reaches up to this kind of inflation, it is the duty of any economy to stop with their monetary power or monetary policies. Because when economy is unable to uh, stop this kind of inflation, then it may become very hurdle for the economy to survive. And one more kind of inflation is running inflation. It means that uh, it is a kind of inflation where inflation rate goes like running of a horse means uh, when inflation jumps from 10 percent to 20 percent in the economy uh, it is very much uh, dangerous for any kind of economy so then again responsibility comes on the shoulder of government to stop it and later suppose if any economy is not possible to stop economy at running inflation then it certainly goes to another kind of inflation that is hyperinflation my dear friends hyperinflation is nothing but a kind of inflation where the price of commodity as well services jumps suddenly from double digit to triple digit it means that from 20 percent to 100 percent a sudden or a rapid change in price of commodity when this kind of inflation takes place in any form of government or in any form of economy it uh, certainly make it certainly makes worse off of all category of people mainly middle class and poor class become very worse worse in the sense uh, it becomes very uh, impossible for any of the people of the same category to afford goods and services it is always a dangerous form of uh, inflation what one could see. So, I, I had uh, a very four category of inflation so far uh, creeping inflation, uh, walking inflation, running inflation and hyperinflation and up to walking inflation it can be uh, manageable and when inflation goes ab above the walking inflation means when it reaches to running as well hyperinflation then certainly it damage the entire economy and after knowing about all these things uh, we can generally uh, define inflation as it is a phenomenon wherein the price of commodities as well services rises in a very rapid manner uh, it is nothing but the a rise in prices of commodities as well service and a fall in value of money see people will understand inflation in each and every economy with respect to value of money when people afford less and less uh, commodity for their money it means that inflation is taking place when inflation when inflation takes place the value of money falls suddenly when people feel that their money is getting less and less amount of commodity it means that inflation is taking place in the economy see when 10 rupee gets 5 commodity the same 10 rupee gets in the next time only 2 or 1 commodity it means that the purchasing capacity of money has fallen uh, it, it is nothing but inflation my dear friends so it is not only for any economics students or any uh, high profile students to understand uh, it can be understood by each and every one by uh, market experience but still as a student of economics one must understand the fact that how this inflation takes place in the economy there are different reasons for uh, inflation our uh, dear listeners you you had of the point uh, about inflation and types of inflation so far uh, in general inflation is nothing but a rise in prices of commodity as well service and uh, fall in the value of money. Thank you for listening. Thank you.